It's always been possible to move the origin of an object within Blender, but this got a whole lot easier with the release of Blender 2.81. So if I select my default cube just here, and if I press the G key, you can see I can easily move things around. I'll just press escape to get out of there. And if I press the R key, I can easily rotate this around. So you can see that move and that rotate option is affecting the object as a whole. And those transforms are actually happening around this origin, which is this little orange dot just in the middle here. So what if, for example, I wanted to move the origin somewhere else so I could make moves based around that moved origin? So the way we can do that is by coming up to this new options option just up here in the upper right corner. And you can see here where it says transform effect only origins. We're going to turn that on. So now if I come back here with my object selected, you can see if I go and press say the G key, I am now moving just the origin but the object itself is remaining where it is. So if I just click now to commit that, you can see I've now moved the origin just over here. Now, if I go and press R to bring up the rotate tool, you can see that's just now affecting the rotation of the origin. So I'll just press escape to get out of there. So if I wish to now start rotating around this newly moved origin, I'll just come back up to this options option just up here and turn off transform effect only origins. So now we're back where we started. So now if I press the R key, you can see that object is now rotating around our newly placed origin. So that's fantastic. Okay, uh, so guys, I showed you how to move the origin just there. We were just uh, doing that uh, nice and simple, just dragging that anywhere. But what if, for example, you wanted to make this a little bit more specific? A uh, very common thing you might like to do is try and uh, say, snap that to a vertex. Just wanted to remind you, you do have some snapping options just up here. So there's a little magnet just here. Next to that icon just there, if I click and open up this option just here, you can see snap to, these are the options just here, and I'm going to set that to say uh, vertex. And now make sure you actually do turn on that magnet icon. You can see it's now blue, which means it's active. So now if I go and press the G key, now I'm moving the object, of course. So let me press escape to get out of there. Let's go back up to options, turn on transform effect only origins. So now if we press the G key, I'm moving the origin. And again, if I get my cursor close to a vertex, you can see the origin will snap to that point. So if I click just here, you can see I've moved the origin to that vertex just there. Okay, let's go off, go up and turn off that transform effect only origins. Go and grab my rotation tool with the art, the R key, and now I am rotating around that origin, which I have snapped to that vertex just there. So that's it there, guys. Moving the origin inside of Blender. Uh, that's 2.81 and forward. Catch you later. Hope it helps.